What is going on guys, my name is Alonso and welcome back to another video as you can see by the title I have a machine that I got not only for free but it does have some toys and some coins in it Now here as you can see that's the back, what am I doing? As you can see here I have a machine and it does have some toys inside As you can see right there it still has some toys inside this side is completely empty. And basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to drill out these locks, obviously, because I don't have the keys. I'm going to take the stuff out, count the money, and then in the future I'm going to buy more locks. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to drill these locks, see if there's any money inside. But it is pretty heavy, and I heard some clicking. So hopefully it does have some coins inside. Now backstory on how I got this machine. My third location that I got ever, um, it's uh, in an office building, and they already had this machine in there. But when I asked the lady how long that the guy hasn't come, she said it was a few months. So I was like, all right, I'm going to leave it. You know, I'm going to just disregard it. I got my machine in there. I was happy. So I went today and I went to do a collection. And I asked the lady again, like, has he not come yet? She's like, no, do you want to take it? I was like, of course, obviously. Hello. So I took it and I told her if the guy ever comes back, if he ever comes back, just to give him my number and I could talk to the guy, maybe, you know, pay him for the machine or something because I am going to be this mean lady in it. So yeah, I just told her to give him my number. We can discuss if he wants something out of it or I'm just going to leave him on red. I don't know. But let's get right into it. Let's open this machine up and let's hope that there's a lot of cash inside. All right, so got the first one out. As you can see. All right, so I'm actually gonna wait to do that one, and let's check. All right, so you can see it's got some residue in there, obviously. All right, so got the canister out. Obviously, I do need to buy a new lock. But are you guys ready to see if there's any coins in here? Let's take this off, make it a little bit easier to see, and. Boom. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All the quarters are in here. As you can see. Oh, baby. We got money, money, money. Money. So, obviously, there weren't that many gumballs in there if that's how many quarters we got. But, hey, money is money. So, now let's drill out the other lock and let's hope that there's money in that one, too. I finally was able to uh, get the toys out. It's hot, it's like 100 plus degrees out, but I'm in the shade, so it's all good. So, here, obviously I can see, but are you guys ready? There's not that many, there's like two or three coins in there, you know? But, you guys know I love to lie. Look at all that moolah, baby! Look at, oh, we got some pennies in there. We actually got a quarter right there. I don't know how that got there. But, oh, oh my god. So, got this machine for free, plus some extra money. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I keep that one with toys? Should I keep that toys and then put gums in this one? Or you guys let me know. I don't know what to do with it yet, but I do know that I'm gonna fix it up and make it look nicer. This stand as well it looks pretty beat up, but hey, free machine, got some money with it. I can't complain. So I completely forgot to tell you guys how much the machines had. But basically, I counted the money right here. I have it. I organized. Looks pretty organized. Looks pretty nice. Now there's uh, six times five, which is thirty dollars. So there was thirty dollars in the machines. Um, thirty, like I don't know. There's some extra coins here. So there's thirty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, like eighty, eighty-three dollars. And as you guys can see, I have the money here from my collection on the soda machine and the claw machine. So why not give you guys the numbers on what I collected in total today? So my very first location that I went to, that one I just have a just one candy machine. That one made $7.70. The second place that I went to, that's where I have my candy machine and my soda machine. Now the candy machine made $11.50. Now the soda machine, that one, 
I'm just gonna lay it out there. Every machine did a lot less, or not a lot, but they did less than what they did the previous collection. The soda machine made nine dollars and quarters and forty dollars in bills, so that is forty nine total for the machine in about twelve days. Now the third location that I went to, that one is where I have my candy machine and my claw machine. Now if you guys haven't seen one of my previous videos, I did put some new items in the machine and when I went, the guy told me that people are loving it. That's the only reason why they're playing. So it was a really, really good investment. Obviously I haven't made my money back, but it is helping my business or my machine collect more money. Now the claw machine, that one made $30 in cash and $7 in coins. Now obviously like I said, every machine did less than what it did before and I believe it's just like it's been like that throughout the whole Las Vegas area. Even the place where I work at, we've been really slow. There's places that have just been really slow. It's summertime, it's hot, people don't want to go out, people are going on vacation in different areas. Here it's more busier during Christmas time, New Year's, that's where a lot of tourists come. So it makes sense that my machines would, make, would be making less money than what they did before. And now the fourth location that I went to, that one made $8.50. Now this one was the only machine that did more than the previous time. This one actually made 15 cents more than my previous collection. Obviously not a big change, but it is something. And now the fifth place that I went to, that one I haven't actually checked in so long. That's one of the machines that I do leave for quite a long time because it doesn't make as much. This is where I actually caught that machine where I drilled the locks out. Now this place made $11.50 and this is just a little over a month and this is just to show you guys that you ha you can have really good machines but you could also have those machines that don't do as well. I'm still keeping it only because I have a really good like connection with the owner there or the, pe the lady that works there. She's really nice. Every time I go, I exchange coins for her. She carries a lot of like dimes and nickels so I just change them out for quarters. She loves the Skittles and so obviously even if that place made $5 a month, I would still keep it just because of the connection that I made with the people there. And then for the very, very last machine, the machine that I legally stole, now that machine made about what thirty dollars and like fifty six ninety seven something cents thirty dollars just put it that way it made thirty dollars so in total today I made I made about a hundred and seventy dollars give or take my math could be wrong I could have said the wrong numbers but I just added it all up and I I made a hundred and sixty six dollars and ninety six cents let's just round it up a little bit because of the extra coins that I had so I totally made about a hundred and sixty seven dollars give or take um, I have coins you know like laying around here and there I, I my, my math could be wrong when I write it down I, I write down the correct numbers but you know just explain it to you guys I made about a hundred and sixty seven dollars obviously it, it could be better I have done better collections but like I said, it has been really slow. But nonetheless, I'm happy with what I have. I'm always happy every time I do a collection, whether it does $5, $10, $20. It doesn't matter. I'm always happy because I like and I enjoy doing this. And moral of the story, do whatever you enjoy, okay? Don't do something. Don't chase the money. Chase happiness. Do something that you love. So that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one.